today's video, we are going to charge a car battery while it is still in the car. I'm going to use this battery charger, which I have a detailed video on using. I will put the link down below. But I've had many people ask if a battery can be charged while it is still in the car. It can, and we will go through that process. So this is my son's car. It was uh, sitting here for two months because he's not using it. And I was taking it for a drive every now and again, but I forgot about it. And I just want to show you how dead this battery is. Now see when I turn, try to uh, start the car, you don't even get that click, click, click that you'll hear of uh, a battery that sometimes is, is semi dead. So this battery is totally drained. Do not do this process if there's any chance of rain. We do not want to short anything out here. We can see here it's uh, March of 2025 in Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful day. If you think there's any possibility of rain, don't do it. But if if you think there's mist or something, cover it over. You, you're going to cause a light show and possibly do a lot of damage in your vehicle or possibly even get hurt. We're going to remove our connections to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Be very careful to never short these two out or you're gonna get a major light, sh light show as, the, as you short out that battery. In this case, the nuts are 10 millimeter. I'll loosen those off. This battery's been here, in here for a while. So we're gonna loosen off these 10 millimeter nuts. Take a screwdriver in there to separate this. And then you're gonna to wanna to put those cables aside so that they're not, they're away from the terminals. Red is positive. Counter counterclockwise to loosen them off. And then we'll put our charger on. So I'm going to put the black clamp on the negative terminal of the battery, the red clamp on the positive terminal, and then I'm going to power up our battery charger. Here's the extension cord from my house, AC power. Here's the cord that goes to our charger. Like I said, you'll have the link below for the details of this charger, but uh, we're going to just go quick and dirty here now. Um, display over here, we have a standard battery. These are the AGM or uh, go up to standard right there. See our voltage. You, got, you want a, a 12 to 13 volt reading for a fully charged battery. Um, Let's go through our, this here, that's uh, standard charging. I'm gonna leave this for a half an hour or so and we'll come back and see where we're at. I've had the charger on for about 20 minutes now. This unit goes into sleep mode when it sits for a while, but we can tell it's still charging because the on light is lit here. Just hit any button to wake it up. And we can see now that we're at a 14% charge in 12 volts. Well, that 12 volts actually coming out of the charger, not the battery. So I always kind of like to warm up the, uh, the battery when it's been sitting for like that for months. So I had it on the slow charge. That's that battery LED lit there. 
the fast charge on this unit is the boat, picture of the boat. So I'm gonna to toggle this and we see the boat LED is lit. At this point, the battery has been charging for about an hour and a half total. We're only at 46% charge. Normally I would just let this sit. However, I have some place I gotta go and it's got a little later in the evening here. So I'm gonna connect up the battery. We're gonna give this a try, see if the car will start. If it doesn't, we'll, uh, we'll continue this uh, tomorrow. Remove our clamps to the battery charger. Connecting the battery up is obviously the reverse of what we did before. Connect that to our negative terminal. There's a minus sign there for the negative. It's also black. Take our 10 millimeter wrench. Tighten that up. Over to our positive terminal. We'll probably see a little spark here as we connect that. Or maybe not. Okay, that's good enough. I may tighten them up a little bit if later on. That's pretty good there. Grab my key. And we'll see what happens here. All right. This is standard. Okay, put my clutch in. What do you know? Okay, that's a pretty strong battery in this car anyway. So now what you want to do that you got your vehicle fully charged, especially if it, we only had like a, what, 45% or whatever it was. You don't want to shut this down now. You want to take it for a, a good drive, get it up the highway, uh, get it up to highway speed, get that alternator turning, charge up the alternator, or sorry, charge up the battery. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.